Your birds, did you have the birds? Oh, no. More education sessions like this? Yeah, for sure. It makes me feel like I can actually do it. I wanted to look into putting a bit more actual, like, different parts of musical composition around the place. Uh, it's basically like a bowling asteroid game. Throw them and uh, hopefully hit an asteroid, which will go flying off. It's super simple, but it was enough for us to get a good grasp of some of the basics. Um, interaction, picking things up, gravity, wow. physics, three for three. and creating objects. What have you learned then? A lot. Yeah. <laughs> a Basically lot about everything. collaboration as well. It's great having a few extra brains to be like, oh, we'll have to try this. Sure. Oh, and that helps. Yeah. <laughs> I do animation, so I've done a few animations for some games that I'm making my own game. It. it is a VR game, oh. yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> And that's a little 361. Yeah. Oh, awesome. But now I feel more like I might want to do my own project and <laughs> kind of work out how I can. I really like telling stories and kind of interactions and things that make you feel something. Because so, I've used Unity before, so I knew about downloading stuff and playing around and you know changing textures or whatever. But I didn't know about the VRTK thing, so that's really really useful. And the fact that you can test out a, you know, a, a also discovering that it would probably be better to have a PC than a Mac, which I didn't know before. So those sorts of technical things to take away from today and think about. Basically every time you taught us something new, I'm like, oh, but then you could do this. I'm like, what about if you do that? Yeah. It's pretty interesting that uh, you guys are working in Unity now and doing like scene transitions that are interactive because that's actually really new. Uh, they only recently released the ability to do this before Unity didn't really work uh, with 360 footage. Uh, and I think this is where a lot of the people making 360 content right now are moving. Even if you say, you know, Unity is over my head or just not something I can tackle right now, um, there's apps like uh, Tilt Brush, um, Medium, these are apps that let you create um, blocks, blocks to create. And Gravity Sketch. And Gravity Sketch, exactly, mm. to create. Uh, put on the headset and build inside of VR and make art or create even models that you could later use in Unity. Um, people are making really beautiful, amazing art in virtual reality right now. Who are they're just artists, you know? They they don't know the technology. It's also the VR editors in both Unreal Engine and, yeah. and uh, Unity. They yeah. have editors where you can use the motion controls to literally place assets mm. in, a, in a prefabricated world and manipulate those assets in size and make yourself large so you can get the overview or shrink down to human size or even smaller so you can actually design a space from within, which uh, I, I think is very cool. Come in with all your energy, your enthusiasm, your open minds. Um, I really think that you guys could go forward into this industry, either incorporating it into your existing roles, what you do at the moment, or potentially getting a job and starting a career in the VR industry um, and become change makers. I want to say a huge thank you to the VR Focus team as well. It was the phone call with Kevin that really was the spark that made this all happen, you know. So thank you, Kevin, Nina, the Our Focus team. Like your support has been, you know, the partnership has been a really good match, I think. And um, and Darren and Sophie and the Digital Catapult team, Helen, who works with University of Brighton, the King's College, University of Brighton, and Refig, and you know, she works with Anna, she is. Harvey, thank you so much for well, building the RTK as a whole, and then also coming here and getting it to us. And for picking up the phone and telling me that, that it exists. Wow. <laughs> because I can now spread the word and it makes it so much more accessible to create VR. Simon Barrett at Cooperative Innovations uh, sponsored lunch. HTC provided the headsets. Uh, Boston Studios supported us. And again, thank you all. That's why there's a lot of thank yous that are all very, you know, important. <laughs>